every platform speaks its own language, but what if there was one prompt that all of them could understand? One structure to rule them all. Across Seadance, Kling, Midjourney, and beyond. This tutorial is an attempt to simplify prompting for video AI platforms. Why? So that motivation stays high, even when working across multiple tools, from Seadance Pro to VO, from Kling to Midjourney Video. You'll notice the video clips running in the background. They all use the exact same prompt, but are generated by different video AI platforms. What you're seeing is living proof that the neutral prompt structure can work across systems with minor differences. I keep seeing comments saying that comparing different AI video platforms doesn't really reflect reality. The main criticism, each platform has its own prompt structure, so direct comparison is almost impossible. And yes, there's also a difference between text prompts and JSON-based prompts. I completely agree with that. But from a user's perspective, and I'm not talking about IT experts here, just everyday users, it still makes sense, and in fact it's necessary, to make things comparable. And that's exactly where I see a task for the developers. Prompt structures urgently need to be simplified, by which I mean standardised. AI isn't a regional thing, it's international. And it affects a lot of people. Just like charging cables, power plugs or traffic rules, you shouldn't have to stop and rethink how it all works every single time. What would help instead is a basic structure. First this, then that, and finally something else. Period. If that's missing, platforms are actively blocking easy access for users. Of course, I'm well aware, and I think it's pretty obvious, that we won't see a unified prompt standard anytime soon. The developers behind these tools come from very different cultures, and that alone, with different languages and writing systems, makes standardization tricky. That's why I spent months reviewing the top tier AI video platforms and their official guidelines while also launching a broad research effort. The result? Some extremely long and detailed responses from Claude AI by Anthropic, Quen3, by Alibaba Cloud, ZAI with GLM 4.5, by Jipu AI, Gemini, by Google, and of course ChatGPT, by OpenAI. All answering the exact same question. Is there a prompt structure that works across platforms and is neutral enough to be understood everywhere? And also, how can we categorise these platforms based on prompt complexity and focus? Long story short, yes, there actually is a prompt structure that works across most platforms as long as you focus on the essentials. Through dozens of iterations, I simplified it step by step until I reached the most compact structure that still delivers consistent results. I'll show it to you in a moment. But first, a quick overview of the major AI video platforms that shape this structure. Based on official documentation and extended AI research, Seadance Pro by ByteDance, the sequential storyteller, Midjourney Video by Midjourney Inc., the Prometer driven animator, VO by Google, the cinematic interpreter, Kling by Kwaishu, the structured assembler, Runway ML by Runway AI, the hybrid toolkit, One 2.2 by Alibaba, the scalable constructor, Hilo AI by Minimax, the specialized toolkit, Higgsfield, the choreographed animator, Luma Dream Machine by Luma Labs, the modular creation studio, Sora by OpenAI, the cinematic world simulator. Each of them follows its own internal logic, but all were part of the same test. One structure, many results. Before we dive into a few examples, let's take a look at the one prompt structure that works across nearly all platforms. It's simple, neutral, and broad enough to be understood everywhere. The structure goes like this. Subject, plus action, plus scene or setting, plus style or lighting, plus camera. Each part of this structure answers a core creative question. Subject, who or what is in focus? Action, what is the person or object doing? Scene or setting, where is it happening? Style or lighting, what's the mood or time of day? Camera, how is it filmed? Which angle, movement or shot type? The last one, 
camera is a category of its own. You could call it the joker of the prompt. In my tests, I switch its position quite often. About 70% of the time, I place it right at the beginning. The other 30%, it comes last. And as you'll see in the next examples, that placement can absolutely make a difference. Or sometimes none at all. Let's now see if the master prompt structure actually holds up. For this test, I used four platforms, Seadance Pro, top left, Mid Journey Video, top right, Hilo 2, bottom left, and Kling 2.1 Master, bottom right. I kept the camera instruction at the end of the prompt for all three test scenes. You'll also notice how each platform deals differently with the same input, and how that affects the final result. Example 1. The prompt was, a woman stands in the jungle while a yellow-blue bird lands on her shoulder. The woman looks toward the bird. Leaves rustle in the background. Soft cinematic lighting. The camera gently rotates around her. In Seadance Pro, Hilo 2 and Kling 2.1 Master. The rotation kicks in slightly later, which makes sense because the camera instruction comes at the end. Mid-journey video, on the other hand, barely reacts to it. Again likely because it's positioned so late in the prompt. Example two, this one was shorter. The persons start dancing. The scene is set in a foggy clearing with muted winter tones. The camera slowly zooms out. Here too, we notice that the zoom effect becomes more visible in the second half of the video. So the order of elements in the prompt seems to influence the timing. Hilu two, as expected, is a bit more energetic and responsive than the rest. Example 3. Final prompt. A warrior polar bear poses in full armour and smiles into the camera. Sparks flying. Smoke. Camera rotates slowly around the polar bear. Again, the camera movement, especially the background rotation, feels more like an afterthought. Mid-journey video reacts only slightly. Seadance Pro delivers the clearest match with the prompt. The bear is smiling, just as requested. But what happens if we now change the order of the core elements, for example by placing the camera instruction at the very beginning? On the left you'll see the results based on the original master prompt structure, with the camera command placed at the end. On the right, the exact same content, but with the camera part moved to the front. We'll look at the same two platforms again. Seadance Pro, top, and Midjourney Video, bottom. See if you can spot the difference. Back to example one, the jungle explorer. The camera instruction was, the camera gently rotates. Out of all three test cases, this one most clearly shows the effect of camera placement. When the camera command is placed at the beginning, both Midjourney Video and Seadance Pro integrate the movement much more prominently. The shot feels more dynamic because the platform treats the camera as a central visual cue. Back to example two, the dancing nights. The prompt includes a slowly zooming camera. Now look at the bottom right. Mid-journey video creates exactly the desired effect using swaying grass in the foreground. That only happens when the camera is mentioned first. If it's at the end, the shot stays fairly static. In contrast, Seadance Pro delivers nearly the same result, regardless of where the camera instruction appears. Back to example three, the polar bear. Once again, we're using a slowly rotating camera, so the motion is subtle. Still, on both platforms, and this time even in mid-journey, you can see how leading with the camera prompt creates a stronger sense of spatial depth. The bear stays centred, but the environment feels more alive. While mid-journey continues to impress with its visuals, it's Seadance Pro that comes out ahead in terms of prompt accuracy. One thing becomes clear across multiple tests, though not always. Some platforms are very prompt accurate, like Hailuo. Others show slight variation, such as Kling, Seadance Pro, or Midjourney Video. And then there are some where the order of the elements barely makes a difference at all. But here's the key insight. Every platform, regardless of how strictly it follows prompt order, still respects the neutral master prompt structure whether the camera comes at the end or right at the start. For me, this neutral framework is a practical baseline 
It helps plan and execute videos more consistently across different platforms. Of course, this isn't a guarantee. It's more of a guideline. AI is still unpredictable, but having a structure like this gives you a set of guardrails. It's a useful way to shape your prompts and build a clear path forward. And if you've come up with your own method, share it. That's the whole point, helping each other get to better results faster. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.